The new BMW 3 Series is one of the first BMWs to embody the new design language. Allow me to translate that for you. The new model has a sporty low stance and the typical double kidney grille has grown considerably compared to its predecessor. It's visually connected to the headlights, which gives the front a wide appearance. From the side, the new 3 Series is agile and yet compact. The reinterpretation of the Hofmeister kink is another important feature of the design language. It's now a fixed part of the C-pillar with a freely suspended glass edge in the door, giving it a more modern, high-tech touch. Let's have a look at the rear. BMW used dark glass to accentuate the three-dimensional L-shaped tail lights, and the strong horizontal lines give the new 3 Series a sporty and yet sturdy start. And see what they've come up with on the inside. This is the newly designed instrument cluster. A 12.3 inches, it's not only the biggest ever in a 3 Series, it also comes with new instrument designs, making it much easier to read while keeping both eyes on the road. Next to the instrument cluster, you'll find the centre display. Together, they combine to make one large information cluster that can be individually configured by the driver. You have different pages and can just simply swipe from one to the other. And of course, you can organize your widgets exactly how you want them. Another easy to use feature has been introduced to the new 3 Series as well, gesture control. Ah, sorry, I can't take that call right now. With the ambient light package, you can also give the interior a more individualized look. And last but not least, all new to the 3 Series the light carpet, which illuminates a safe passage from and to your BMW. Lights, please. Well, that brings this episode to an end. If you want to know more, then check out the other films about driving assist and connected features, M performance parts, and the intelligent personal assistant. Or you could watch the main film for a more general overview.